हेलो या 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 यस 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 सर 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 ओके वेलकम एंड वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल डियर पार्टिसिपेंट्स रिसोर्स पर्सन ऑफ टुडे सेशन डॉक्टर नीरज अग्रवाल सर एंड चेयर पर्सन ऑफ टुडे सेशन डॉक्टर सीमा द्वेदी मैम एंड ऑल द ऑर्गेनाइजर्स ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम टुडे वी आर हैविंग अवर लेक्चर ऑन बेसिक फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री Now I would like to introduce today's chairperson, Dr. Seema Dwedi, ma'am. Uh, presented here, Dr. Seema Dwedi, ma'am, is uh, currently working as a professor in the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology at DSB Medical College, Kanpur. She is also holding the position as National Coordinator of the Scheme, Marsi Charak Research and Development Scheme of Institute of Applied Statistics, and the National Coordinator as Pandit Madan Mohan Malvi Bal Satcham Yojana. and a joint secretary of kogs and in charge high risk pregnancy specialty clinic and ultrasound and also arogya nodal of gsp medical college uh, she has directly supervised more than 40 thesis work as guide and co guide and published more than 50 papers in various national and international journals earlier she has worked in as an associate professor at rama medical college since 2002 he had a special training post in I Y C P Lab T O T and uh, C E M O C. She has also been awarded by Doctors Day Facilit uh, Felicitation with Lifetime Achievement Award by K O G S on 1st July 2022 and uh, Corona Warrior Award by Mayor of the Kanpur uh, and Vishesh uh, Mahila Samman by C H G M Dean Dal Sud Kendra. Uh, she has conducted more than 100 workshops on. and 30 workshop on garbha sala now i would like to invite ma'am hello to the share who share her views and uh, uh, invite today's uh, guest faculty of the session mm -hmm. thank you for your kind introduction it is thank but my proud privilege to introduce our speaker for today dr neeraj agrawal Dr Neeraj Agrawal whose dynamism and dedication for research and its development is exemplary currently he is working as associate professor at department of pharmacology government medical college ratlam he is also uh, secretary in institutional ethics committee has conducted more than 300 clinical trials as investigator principal investigator in pharmaceuticals and has published more than 25 original research papers in reputed journals it will be our proud privilege to hear his talk today on a very important topic so now i hand over to dr neeraj to go ahead with his presentation yeah yeah uh, thank you ma'am so uh, good evening uh, all the audience uh so i am today i am presenting uh, the topic uh, is basic pharmaceutical chemistry so uh, i have seen your uh, curriculum of 3 month research workshop so इससे पहले बिफोर दिस डॉक्टर उमा गुप्ता हैज टॉट यू अबाउट द फार्माकोग्नोसी एंड टू डेज टॉपिक इज बेसिक फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू गिव सम इंट्रोडक्शन रिगार्डिंग दीज इंटर रिलेटेड टॉपिक्स so because of uh, you must know uh, all the topics of uh, pharmaceuticals or you can say the molecule new chemical entity molecules which are discovered uh, for therapeutic or prophylactic uses okay so uh, first of all i will uh, uh, so i will cover uh, my topic so first of all i will give the introduction about the uh, of the pharmaceutical chemistry then 
i will uh, give uh, try to uh, uh, join the chemistry pharmaceutical chemistry with the ayurveda and uh, third one then i will uh, i will be talking about the drug development process where all the pharmacognosy pharmaceutical chemistry and pharmaceutics and the clinical pharmacology uh, that will burn together okay so as far as the introduction is concerned the, it is the first is pharmaceutical chemistry so it's a scientific discipline at the intersection of chemistry and the pharmacy so chemistry you must know the chemistry jo chemical structures hoti hain with the pharmacy involved with the designing and developing pharmaceutical drugs so ultimate aim to design the pharmaceutical drugs or pharmaceutical drugs that the effect would be definitely effect would be prophylactic or therapeutically okay so the same uh, the definition that is the other way is medicinal chemistry involve the identification then synthesis and development of new chemical entities so you always you remember the word again this word nce it is a term which is used in the pharmaceuticals so the drug development so you remember new chemical entities is the molecule which is in the drug development process but till date till now that is not approved this is called new chemical entities identification synthesis and development of new chemical entities suitable for therapeutic use matlab it, it it may be suitable or might not be suitable it depends on the clinical trial okay it also include the study of existing drug their biological properties and their quantitative structural activity relationship so what is the meaning of this some drugs that are that has been approved for one use but you are that drug you are using you are doing the clinical trial for the other uses like aspirin aspirin is used in the low dose it is used as a antiplatelet drugs in the high dose it is used in the arthritis as analgesic or recently it has been introduced it has some activity against the cancer of gi cancer so this is the uh, drug development process of the any drug okay so you must remember this uh, another term is very important is quantitative structural activity relationship means the chemical that depend the chemical structural activity that shows that ki what type of activity that would be exhibited by that particular molecule so it depends on the 3d structure 3d chemical structure of any new chemical entities okay so that things would be more clear whenever we go further uh, forward uh, to the uh, other further slides so medicinal chemistry is a highly interdisciplinary science so you must remember this is not a uh, one uh, branch or one person it's a team work multidisciplinary it's a time taking process it's very costly or it takes very much time process or a failure rate is also very high okay so you can see the high, whole development process so medicinal chemistry is a highly interdisciplinary science combining what first of all organic chemistry with biochemistry okay that is related to biological science to chemistry hence because of we are doing the clinical trials or drug development process for the human beings the drug will work in a human being then computational chemistry because of you can see here the two other terms i always use that is called high throughput screening that is that that calculation is being done on computer okay computational chemistry then pharmacology pharmacology which deals with the drug 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 effects okay that include the pharmacokinetic pharmacodynamic okay what the body does to the drug what the drug does to the body so that is the separate after 
you can see uh, these type of things in the drug development then molecular biology you can see here biosimilars the drugs like monoclonal antibody if you have seen if you have heard about this monoclonal antibodies like omelizumab in bronchial asthma or different different type of molecule tocilizumab in coronavirus you have seen covid 19 tocilizumab or many zumabs are were there these are monoclonal antibody that was developed in through the molecular biology okay then statistics definitely any research without a statistic is not possible and then physical chemistry so this is the whole interdisciplinary approach which are being done for developing any drug so so you can see here okay so pharma so as far as the ayurveda is concerned so i have taken uh, because of i am not from uh, ayurveda background so i have taken one article that is a basic principle of pharmaceutical science in ayurveda it was published in uh, bulls indian history historical medicine volume 2000 in the 2005 so you can see here pharmaceutical is one of the allied branch of the sciences which is closely associated with the medical science so today pharmaceutical chemistry and the pharmacognosy okay the pharmacognosy pharmacognosy which is related to the plant origin the drug which is originated from the plant or if it it is if it can be synthetic okay so whole if the any molecule which is produced by the plants natural source or synthetic one small molecule or biosimilar from the biological compound that would comes into the pharmaceutical chemistry so pharmaceutical chemistry and the pharmacognosy are playing important role in the treatment for a disease and its prevention okay and herbal medicines are being used by about 80% of world population mostly in the developing country in the psc so you have seen you have seen this thing in the pharmacognosy so there has been a upsurge in the demand for the phytopharmaceutical products of ayurveda in western nations okay because of the fact that synthetic drugs are considered to be unsafe so westerns they are because of some allopathic drugs they are synthetic drugs they are unsafe hence people are demanding for the ayurveda drugs that is phytopharmaceutical products so but due to this many national and multinational pharmaceutical companies are now concentrating on the manufacturing of ayurvedic phytopharmaceutical products so it is not working properly some problem is with this software i think the next slide is not uh, moving smoothly ayurveda is a indian traditional system of medicine which also deals about pharmaceutical science okay so you have seen you can see here so the most system if the new chemical entity is uh, is natural origin so it depends on that uh, the both bo uh, the both pathy like ayurveda or allopathic science both ultimately needs the pharmaceutical science the ayurvedic knowledge of the pharmaceutical science is scattered in the ayurvedic classical text some one of ayurvedic branch uh, you must know because of all of you are from ayurveda field which deals with the preparation of drugs known as the vesajya kalpana okay so sarangdhara samhita which is written by the sarangdhara explains systematically about the information of the ayurvedic pharmaceutical science 
which deals with the formulation okay so just just a basic knowledge about this how uh, pharmaceutical chemistry is in the ayurveda so industrial manufacturing of the ayurvedic doses form has brought in a new challenge like deviation from the basic concept of medicine preparations because of now the uh, things are changing very fast okay demands are increasing okay everybody uh, wants ki immediately if i need i have a, any disease please give some pills or tablets or the any form which is pre formed not there is no time to uh, that first of all the basic jo principles that is given in the ayurveda so in the present time it's uh, very uh, tough for the pharmaceuticals that they follow these guidelines so something is changing here okay so hence the knowledge of the pharmaceutical science is very important in the ayurveda nowadays sarangdara samhita the devout text on the pharmaceutics in ayurveda comes handy to solve such problems as the method describes are very lucid and easy to follow so these are some basics about you must know sarangdara samhita so Doctor Neeraj, you are not audible. Yeah, actually, ma'am, it's the uh, I. Each me na, it's getting muted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it was muted. I, I, I. Repeating again. Problem with this, I think. Doctor Amit, can you change the slide from this side? Just a second. Actually, yeah, something is problem with this is computer. Okay. Uh, I think basically, sir, uh, use uh, uh, keyboard uh, arrow key to change the slide instead of mouse. Because uh, I am I am using mouse. I am using keyboard. No? बताते जाएंगे जनरल पॉपुलेशन व्यू Uh, that ayurvedic drugs take a lot of time for efficacy so a lot of research is needed in that area so that better extracts are extracted out of these uh, plants and herbs which are more effective at a faster pace so uh, for that many herbs and other materials are there but a lot of research is needed in that so by the time dr neeraj is arranging for the slides you know uh -huh. so once that is done definitely in allopathic medicines as you must have heard he told that there is so much of interdisciplinary collaboration to finally develop a drug and there are many phases of trials phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 and phase 4 finally when a drug is bought up in the market 
in which the whole toxicology profile is also done to see the toxic effect of the drugs definitely ayurveda has an upper edge in the uh, in this manner that the toxicity of all the herbs is definitely hardly any uh, toxicity most of them are safe because they are from the nature and to cure you to become more natural so uh, ayurveda has a better edge and the only thing required in ayurveda is that more research has to be done to develop more efficacious drugs which have uh, sooner faster action to a greater degree so this uh, lecture is very very important and hopefully we'll gain a lot today so dr neeraj are you through with ma'am ma'am just uh, i got the slides and just sharing uh, just uh, i take only one minute more Yeah, yeah, I, I'm so sorry for this. This time, uh, yeah, ma'am, uh, you rightly said that pharmaceutical chemistry it is one of the most important part, not only for the allopathic science but also Ayurvedic science. I will uh, give an idea uh, about uh, the. I am just giving the brief about the drug development process. you must understand why it is so important in the ayurveda because of uh, earlier said uh, uh, as a chair as a chair person in the pharmacognosis session that uh, every time you have to uh, provide the evidence based uh, things uh, to the globally that is globally acceptable so it would be uh, not possible without the drug develop you must uh, know the drug development process by which you can show uh, that yes suppose uh, if uh, if any uh, uh, natural product that is uh, that has some therapeutic activity okay and you want to prove this so you have to conduct the clinical trials okay so now it's uh, so uh, Uh, Amit, uh, can I start? Yes, sir. Definitely, sir. We change this. Yeah. Next, right? Yeah. The next. Okay. So, despite its uh, professional integrity, the subject of pharmacy are multidisciplinary. I, I have already told about this. The field deal with the all areas of drug development. So, right from the preclinical. So, first of all, you must you must know preclinical means be, before the clinical trials means it the drug. that is the first of all new chemical entity which has shown the some good therapeutic activity and first of all we will do on the rodents and non rodents okay this is called animal studies so pharmacokinetic study pharmacodynamic study and the toxicology study that is firstly done on the animals rodents or non rodent rodent means small animal okay and then human equivalent to human beings like cats okay and monkeys like that okay then we will go for the clinical trials and the patient compliance the pharmaceutical researchers are also involved throughout the drug discovery process including the transition of drug candidate what is a drug candidate the drug candidate is same new chemical entity is the same thing from pre clinical research to clinical stage okay in the early stage of drug discovery and development that is called pre clinical stage so what need there is need of pharmaceutical chemistry like pharmacy subject like pharmacognosy you have gone, gone through pharmacognosy is a which deals with the drug which is plant origin okay the plant origin alkaloids okay like you can you have seen the digoxin quinine morphine iosine okay like this these are the drug which are reserpine which are plant origin you know there are some act therapeutic activity pharmacoinformatics pharmaceutical chemistry okay that is called structural activity relationship 3d design 3d structure of particular chemical pharmaceutical analysis then you will analyze that particular product okay that is called drug candidate or new chemical entity then pharmacology then pharmacology means then you have to conduct the study of pharmacokinetic pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic what is the 
what is the effect of body how the drug will absorb how it is metabolized into the body then excrete from the body or how it would be distributed in the body okay then pharmacodynamic what effect would occur like what is what receptors that particular drug act the receptor which was that when the drug was developed in the preclinical stage suppose karo the one drug which was developed on the drug will effect on as a anti diabetic drug and effect on the some receptor which is involved in the diabetic pathology okay so the same receptor is whenever we give the drug to same receptor is activated by drug or not so you have to check this okay so this is the pharmacodynamic or some toxic effect that is not seen in the animals or not seen in the preclinical state that is same with the human being or not so that is the pharmacology then pharmaceutics last is pharmaceutics once the drug is a drug had good efficacy the safety profile is good then we will make a drug dosage form drug dosage form is very important in allopathic or ayurveda science you must know the drug would be in the tablet form is capsule form or it would be powder form or it would be liquid form like syrup linkers liniments or it would be other like injectable okay or the routes of administration it would be given by the orally topically okay systematically okay so like this so it depends on the uh, branch of pharmaceutics so what the properties of the drug that would produce the therapeutic effect to the human being as well as there is safety profile is good so on the basis of this on and the most important part is patient compliance so what is the patient compliance you can see if i give the if i give you okay all must you have taken the paracetamol 500 mg okay you have seen that drug 500 mg if i give you if i give you 2 g paracetamol four times a day then what would happen your acceptability would be less the compliance would be less okay so so we will make a formulation which would must be compliant to the patient in the later stages doctor the pharmacy and the professionals working in the pharmaco vigilance ab what happen pharmaco vigilance it's a regulatory guideline okay once the product is approved okay the pharmaco vigilance it is very much strong it is very robust mechanism worldwide for the allopathic medicines okay but it is not present in the ayurvedic so if we are not dealing we are not doing anything if some drug has side effect or not so definitely the side effect will not appear okay so just mearing to say that ayurvedic drugs had no side effect no 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 it's not possible first of all you have to do the pharmaco vigilance studies continuous monitoring is very important hence So pharmacovigilance is a science which deals with the detection, understanding, and the prevention of the side effect due to the pharmaceutical product. Okay, then regulatory affairs. Okay, so pharmaceutical management. Like you can see, okay, that particular you have seen the one uh, uh, information that was uh, in the Africa. The one pharmaceuticals cough syrup has toxicity to the. uh 10 child childrens in you in africa okay so then the pharmaceutical uh, companies and regulatory affairs dcgi drug control general of india they they take initiative then they do the investigation and ultimately they found that no no that particular uh, batch number drug that is uh, th there is no toxicity even good therapeutic uh, effect was produced by that drug so those these things uh, in uh, also important in the case of uh, pharmaceuticals okay so these are some multidisciplinary approach you must understand or in the medical uh, field okay next slide so okay next now you will see the drug development process i am just uh, 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 briefly i am i would like to understand the drug development process because it is very important you must know how the pharmaceutical chemistry is interlinked with the preclinical to clinical okay yes next
next please yeah so you can see here so this is the diagram this is the global view of the you can see here the first is target identification and validation okay so first of all you must know the physiology and the pathology so i uh, i uh, definitely uh, i know that all the ayurvedic uh, basic science like physiology and pathology and microbiology all the medical students uh, they studied so you must remember first of all ki what is the basic pathophysiology of this like malaria okay so we know the malaria which is uh, which is caused by the plasmodia falciparum four type of species okay and hemoglobin bit convert to hemojoin like that so these are the pathology and uh, uh, sporozoites whenever bite then sporozoite reach into the circulation so you must know all the physiology pathology microbiology of the particular disease okay then you will on the basis of your basic knowledge you then target identify the target okay then you will target okay if uh, i do this i will make a one drug one chemical entity which affect on that hemo particular hemojoin okay heme is convert to hemojoin or hemojoin is toxic to the uh, falciparum malaria okay so this conversion is inhibited by the chloroquine the chloroquine is a drug which inhibit this conversion okay so you first of all this is the target so this is the target so you must know first of all you must know the target identification and the validation then biomarker prediction okay biomarker is like that if uh, things means if uh, if obesity is decreasing okay somebody i am giving the anti obesity drug and you can see here there is decrease of the ldl so this is the biomarker ldl is a biomarker for the obesity biomarker identification and validation the cellular and molecular target identification by the omics technology so omics technology this is separate technology which these basically these things are necessary for the i for the identification of the new chemical entity okay whenever you get a some good results okay that particular drug which is active on the particular receptor then you will start the preclinical like or how you will do the preclinical you will do the high throughput screening and the identification these terms are particular for the high throughput screening there is seven days workshop okay so you just you just remember what is high throughput screening it's a computational skill okay i made a one lakh one lakh new chemical entity okay that is effective on particular like you can see a glp1 glp1 is a receptor that is involved in the pathology of diabetes okay so i have just said just make a 1 lakh molecule which effect on the glp okay then i make a some calculation on the computer that is called high throughput screening so you will screening 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 then you will get an idea okay this particular molecule what i need that is particularly effective on this drug okay or that is matching with the already approved drug you can see with the m like you can see omeprazole then pantoprazole and other drug like that so then in vivo toxicity studies in vitro studies in vitro in vivo in vivo study means kisi animal study karte hain in vitro means that is done in the laboratory okay then determining macro action what is the macro action particular then we do the ADME assessment ADME is a particular drug which is absorption distribution metabolic excretion how the body the behavior of that particular drug into the body so that is called ADME study that is called pharmacokinetic okay so these are some new terms you must remember uh, as a ayurvedic science because of if you if you just say suppose tulsi tulsi has some activity which is antipyretic okay so first of all you have to identify identify the particular molecule okay that would be done the preclinical or clinical trial okay so then after that you will make a chemical library okay then after this whenever you will get a good results then you will plan for the clinical trial so there are four type of clinical trial phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 phase 4 okay i will not go into the detail after phase 4 when the drug is approved okay then we will go further for the pharmacovigilance or the regulatory authority so this is the whole process of drug development so you can see here in drug development you can see here so there is the 
you can see in this slide there is pharmacognosy and then pharmaceutical microbiology okay microbiology means some penicillin which is which penicillin which is the source of his penicillin is fungus okay you can see some bacterial some antibiotic that is generated from the bacteria virus or fungi okay then you will do the pharmaceutical chemistry pharmaceutical chemistry it is a chemical structure 3d chemical structure the activity which is related to the 3d chemical structure of particular particular new chemical entity okay then pharmaceutical analysis so what is the quantification pharmaceutical analysis which mainly deals with the identification quantification of particular drug okay suppose you must remember ki what what quantity of that particular alkaloid present on this suppose uh, stems stems has some activity against any disease so you must remember ki how much how much stem is required for particular that particular chemical entity okay this is called quantification then in vitro in vivo studies then okay after getting the full result or the pharmacology then we will do the pharmaceutics pharmaceutics is drug doses i have mentioned earlier okay so these are the some process if you want to the drug that is globally present or globally acceptable you must do these thing okay or this will apply not for allopathic science but also ayurvedic science okay the process remains same you can't skip any steps in for the any drug okay that is given to the human being now next so you can see this is the you can see some activities of uh, drugs you can see first is aspirin you can see the structure of aspirin which is a analgesic drug you can see the aspirin then atropine okay atropine again it is a natural alkaloids penicillin penicillin it is a antibiotic you can see the structure okay so you can see here in the penicillin you can see there is a benzene ring there is o double o h o n molecule every molecule particularly you can see beta lactam ring there is n s in the penicillin you can see n or s this is called beta lactam this beta lactam is essential for the antibacterial activity hence penicillin is called beta lactam antibiotic okay so some bacteria they develop the resistance you have you have heard the resistance yeah, okay so how the drug development is important i will just giving one is one example so beta lactam so some bacteria they produce a beta lactamase beta lactamase what the bacteria do in the resistance beta lactamase they whenever we give the penicillin the beta lactamase producing bacteria become an ineff ineffective because of they they hydrolyze the molecule of penicillin so we give the another drug that is called another drug was developed that is called beta lactamase inhibitor that is called clavulanic acid so first is drug is amoxicillin which is penicillin we will give the amoxicillin is clavulanic acid so what would happen if i giving the amoxicillin with the clavulanic acid the beta lactamase producing enzyme will be killed okay will will be killed by this so you can see this so this is the whole clinical application of of the pharmaceutical chemistry if you don't if you don't know the chemical structure of any molecule what would you do okay if some if suppose if you are giving any any drug any drug to any patient okay and he is not responding what would you how will you uh, find out ki why the work is the uh, the drug is not working okay so at that time you must know all these things the these knowledge pharma the knowledge of the pharmaceutical chemistry is very essential to know the therapeutic effect of therapeutic effect or toxic effect of any drug you can see digoxin it is a drug for chf galantamine you can see morphine ab first of all you can see morphine is morphine there is a this is a 3d structure okay you can see here in the morphine the uh, and there is one is a morphine 
and second one is a codeine. Okay, so there is a very uh, slight difference in the chemical structure of morphine and the codeine. You know, you can see only there is difference of OH molecule because of this OH molecule is required for the analgesic activity, and codeine has has less molecule of OH means that particular place OH is not present. Hence, morphine has analgesic activity due to OH and codeine has less analgesic activity than morphine. Okay, but codeine has good anti-cuff activity, anti tussin matlab, there is cuff activity on codeine. Okay, so you can see there is slight difference in the chemical structure you can change the therapeutic activity. So this is called pharmaceutical chemistry. So this thing you can do. So this is one of the, one of the best uh, strategy to develop the drug. Okay. So in the Ayurveda science, it is one of the most important part. Ki everything, every, uh, every phytochemical product that is natural origin. Okay you must understand what is the particular active ingredient or active new chemical entity which is present on particular phytopharmaceutical. That must be correlate with the therapeutic activity, with the chemical structure and further development of the process. A slight change of that particular things, if there is some good effect is generated, okay, if pharmacokinetic is improved or pharmacodynamic is improved, like that. Same paclitaxel, which is anti cancer drug, pilocarpine, is a glaucoma drug, and the quinine. All drugs that are from the natural origin. Next. So, that pharmacognosy you have gone through is this like plants, medicinal plant, then there is collection. Okay. So, uh, what I have mentioned in you in the basic principle of uh, you, uh, Sarangadhara. Okay. So there is a uh, SOPs like state, uh, some guidelines are uh, given in this uh, in this book, in your Ayurvedic book, where uh, how, why how to collect uh, uh, how to collect the particular. So there is basic principle of uh, Besaji Kalpana is nature of the drug according to the place where they grow. Okay, like if temperate plants are somya jala prominent in nature. So hers depends on where these uh, the places where they grow okay and collection of drugs okay so if the collection of drugs early in the morning sunshine or daytime before collecting the person should pray lord shiva in the silence so these are some process guidelines are given in the ayurveda so on the basis of collection authentication or certification you can do so there is no problem okay you can do this then what are the different types of parts of different plants that are collected like root bark, big trees where there is vrat, pacumula. I have taken the, I have given you the reference. I am taking from this. Leaves, telisa, fruits, trifla. So these are some plants where activities are generated. Then you, there is a particular major. Weights and measurement is also given in this book. Okay. Then further, very important. There is regarding the Purana, old and the new, new one. Okay, like fresh, you have to take the fresh one or you have to take the dry one. Okay, then uh, uh, if dry is has more therapeutic potential or uh, uh, bad one is uh, more potential. But but what can you can you if you if your mind is is in if your mind has some research uh, activity. Okay, if you develop some research activity, then you will you will find out ki why the dry herb is why the driver is not working working and why the uh, this uh, fresh and green is working okay so you must uh, uh, understand if you uh, take the some idea of the pharmaco pharmaceutical chemistry or these isolation of purification and then quantity of dry fresh how much quantity you will take in okay and self lies that is i would like to more stress Whenever I read this article, this is very important in, in today's world. Everybody needs, everybody needs, okay, I uh, please, uh, I, I, I can't walk, I can't 
uh, I want to reduce my weight, but I don't want to go outside to change my lifestyle or I would like to take anything what I want, but just give me the tablet. So in this scenario, in this today's scenario, so Ayurveda science has to be developed like that. There is, I have seen this, there is shelf formulation. Okay, the expiry date. That is very much, not more than. It is clear cut written generally all types of formulation potency start deteriorating after one year. Okay. So we have to be make the some formulation which has the more self life. Okay. So we have to do the investigation regarding that. Okay. What, what things we will do that the self life is increased like that. Okay. And most important globally the Ayurveda drugs demanding is increasing. Okay. But the process, you must know the process of purification, identification, it's not so easy. Okay. That is written in this book. This is not, practically it is not possible if it is, if it is uh, uh, producing in the high amount. Okay. In large amount. So pharma, pharmaceutical science, it is very challenging for the, uh, for the uh, Ayurvedic doctors. So the pharmaceutical, if they are maintaining, uh, maintaining the quality of that particular product or not. So again, this is again important part that we can uh, we can deal with this pharmaceutical. We can do some uh, with the drug uh, with the research. Okay. So uh, you can see here this is the again collection, authentication, and then extraction. After extraction, then uh, extraction by the case by the chromatography. There are some mechanisms of chromatography. Then isolation and purification, and then characterization. Characterization by the there are many mechanisms like NMR and this. And then you will use the pharmaceutical chemistry, pharmacology, and then we will give that, okay, particular drug has the therapeutic effect. The next. So this is the biotechnology. If I have seen penicillin, I, I have just uh, uh, told you about this. Uh, microorganism, there is extraction, that primary, secondary metabolites, Okay, some food additive, starting material, some drugs like vaccine. You can see the Corona vaccine that was developed from this. Okay, same Corona vaccine that was developed from particular, particular structure, particular DNA of that coronavirus. Okay, that developed, that was developed or any model or monoclonal antibody. Okay, next. You can see this pharmaceutical chemistry. I have given the many example. You can see the one good example. I have morphine and codeine. You can see HO, OH group is responsible for analgesic activity. That is not present in the codeine. Codeine has OCH3. So by adding the CS3, the analgesic activity is decreased and anti activity is increased. So you can see the application like levodopa and dextrodopa. Levo is a, that is a 3D structure. Levo rotatory, 3D in the dextro rotatory. So whenever we see the any molecule in the 3D phase, you can see the levodopa, it is effective for Parkinson's, but dextrodopa, it is ineffective in the Parkinson's. Okay. So you can see the 3D drug. So 3D structure is very important in the case of, in the case of uh, any therapeutic activity. So what application uh, you can do? Okay. Some drugs, some drug which has the good anti-diabetic activity. Okay. Some herbs have less anti-diabetic activity. Okay. So then you will extract that particular molecule by these methods. Collection, identification, then extraction. Okay. Then isolation. So then you change some. Okay. You will find out the structure, 3D structure of particular molecule. Then something change. That can be done by the high throughput screening means computer on that particular receptor. You will find out that particular drug A, herb A is why herb A is has strong anti-diabetic activity compared to herb B. Then you will identify that, then you will make some modification in that particular, particular structure. Okay. Then after high throughput splitting, you can get, you can, you can get a new molecule. Whenever I see this, there is huge scope of research in the Ayurveda science. Because of you know, what herbs are doing, 
against that particular pathology particular disease okay so this is very much important to know the uh, knowledge about the drug development process or the especially the pharmaceutical chemistry then pharmacognosy then pharmaceutical microbiology these are the source of drugs you can say natural synthetic it can be natural if it is given with the particularly plants okay it is synthetic so i would also add uh, i would also like to uh, uh, tell you about very important thing about the pharmaceutical science in the pharmaceutical science which are involved the for formation of the pharmaceutical product or the drug to the natural product it become very costly okay especially if large production is there if they do the synthetic process so they can easily easily they can form large they can form as much as drug as demand as possible on the basis of the demand they can produce a large drugs large amount of drugs if the drug is synthetic so the to hence hence they are okay like parasites the paracetamol this is synthetic drug so there is no deficiency of paracetamol worldwide okay if i just if i am just i if, if uh, any drug which is uh, plant origin okay if demand is increasing pharmaceutical pharmaceutical company they are not so advanced that they will produce as per the demand okay due to this reason the ayurvedic drugs are very much costly compared to allopathic drug okay this is the reason then high throughput screening and then you can see high throughput screening again this is a computational calculation for this computational calculation it's not a one hour process it's a one month process matlab means if you make a formula of any drug then you will run in the so it takes around one and two month okay because of billions of chemical pro billions of process occurred on the particular receptors so you need a very expertise for high throughput spreading then structural activity relationship prediction and design then whenever you get a good get a good uh, any results that is promising then you will do the synthesis next so these are role of pharmaceutical analysis this is again drug discovery that is related to the identification that is related to quantification these are uh, lcms you must remember, you must know high performance liquid chromatography okay then nmr nuclear magnetic resonance ir and ms these bus mainly you just remember ki these are the process which is required for isolation identification the quantification of particular compound okay particular compound that whenever you get a good result then it would go to the preclinical stage or annual studies and then clinical trial like that okay so this is the formula next so now so we are the clinical clinical people we uh, we are doctors so what is the role of our so definitely role can be on every steps okay but basically uh, you can uh, you can see here basic pharmacologist and the clinical pharmacologist so basic pharmacologist uh, the 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 person who has expert in particular field like in you ayurveda or allopathic allopathic science they have mind of research and they want to do something then they go into the basic pharmacology so they will do they will do the research on the in vitro pharmacology in vivo pharmacology okay in vitro means in the laboratory what the drug effect okay in the laboratory there is also many methods available then you can do the same study that is done in the human being or uh, animals that can be done in the laboratory okay that is possible so this is called in vitro pharmacology pharmacokinetic or pharmacodynamic in vitro in vivo in vitro in vivo means in animals or and the drug metabolism the pharmacokinetic studies and the safety pharmacology if drug is safe or not so these are some basic 
pharmacology this is the scientist work the the person who has research who is very much keen interest in the research he or she can do and what would happen the role in drug discovery development if the basic pharmacologist do these activity then he can easily identify the targets validation and disease modeling and assessment of efficacy in animal there are different different type models are there like epilepsy patient so you can we can develop epilepsy in animal that is called animal models and then we see the particular or not okay so these are called animal models modeling technique and then assessment of bioavailability of metabolic pathway okay we can see if drug it is absorbed or not like you can see acha i am giving one example insulin is not you can you uh, must, must know that insulin which is the main drug, main drug which is used in the severe diabetes uncontrolled diabetes so the insulin is not given orally because of orally it is not absorbed so it is given subcutaneously the route is different so by this you can make a some idea okay drug is particularly not working orally like that then safety uh, you can toxicity study you can do okay. then clinical pharmacologist so their clinical pharmacologist ultimately which is involved in the clinical trials clinical trials means the drug which is put in the preclinical study the drug has developed now we will try to drug into the human being okay so this is called clinical pharmacologist so what will you do then up now you will you will clear you will get a clear cut idea of what is the pharmacokinetic of the that particular drug into the human being okay it may be same more or less same or it may be changed but it may be changed then you will make a profile of safety and efficacy okay like that then you will change the dose okay you uh, maybe you you know this thing if if one drug suppose 500 mg paracetamol is has analgesic activity in the human antipyretic activity in the human being but that 500 mg or you can say 10 mg per kg okay that is called 10 mg per kg dose of paracetamol which is effective antipyretic in the human being but this 10 mg per kg is not effective in the cat that might be 20 mg per kg okay so there, there is some formula there is some formula whenever uh, do the uh, uh, maybe if somebody who is in pharmacology background must know this thing so uh, the, so you so again whenever we do the clinical trial so before this we have to calculate the particular dose ki what type of dose that has a therapeutic effect but no significant toxicity like this so after this you will make a clinical design clinical trial designs or biological pathway or disease determinant okay what we get in the preclinical that is same in the human being or not or toxicity studies or go or no go that is will study means we further we should try to the human being or not sometime what what happen if we give the minute amount of drug to particular human being there is anaphylaxis occur so means that drug is not not suit for the that particular the human being due to some uh, that is particularly not effective in the human being like that so these type of uh, these roles uh, pharmacologists can play in the drug development next so last is if we get a good results in the clinical trial then will be make a different different type of formulation it, it, it is called pharmaceutical pharmaceutics this is called pharmaceutics the, the pharmaceutics is what what the pharmaceutical companies do that is called pharmaceutic there again specialization the pharmaceutics you, in the ayurveda science also your company like different different type of uh, drug companies they have uh, qualified pharmaceutics are there what the what particular part, particle size should be there what is the solubility diffusion dissolution physical properties of the drug then pharmaceutical engineering what process they are producing this then it is like biopharmaceuticals pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic all these are that is related to pharmaceuticals okay next so 
can i can conclude said conventional method of drug discovery and the development are time consuming however a new advanced technology in the pharmaceutical science have expanded the process based on the current progress we presume that future drug discovery in the pharmaceutical industry will be advanced by the use of bioinformatics and computer assisted system despite a wide variety of computer applications the potential for use of computer science or computation system in the drug discovery and drug development is means means now the things are like robot robot a robot has come okay so like that computers or you can see artificial intelligence that is involved in the drug development process as a result some leading areas in the computer science such as artificial intelligence statistics computer system high throughput screening security database management system software engineering human computer interactions business graphics program languages bioinformatics and computing theory are contributing to well known computer assisted system for drug discovery and development so in the both ayurveda science and the allopathic science these are the things that is very much necessary to understand to the drug development process so thank you so much if you have any question please ask Thank you, sir, for very knowledgeable and uh, interactive session. I hope that uh, all participants get benefited from today's session. Now, I request to all participants that please uh, raise your hand or uh, write your query in chat box. Dr. Rajni Thakur, I sent you the unmute request. Please uh, unmute yourself and uh, ask your query, Dr. Rajni. Thank you, sir. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Sir. sir, it was very nice. I congratulate you. You have opened our eyes and mind. Sir, I have a confusion. Or I can say in Hindi, that as we read the Ayurveda, we read the yoga, like the formulations. In modern, there is no formulation like this. One drug will be acyclic of neck plus paracetamol plus serosiopeptidase. It will be one or two. But our yoga, like in which there are 10 drugs, 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 मैरिन है या कुछ उसमें हमारे नॉन वेजिटेरियन चीजें भी हैं तो अब हम इस चीज को अगर हम लाते हैं बीच में इस फार्माकोलॉजी को या फार्माकोडायनमिक्स या कैनेटिक्स को तो हमारी जो धरोहर है हमें तो उसमें हर पॉइंट पे फिर सोचना पड़ेगा अदरवाइज हमें क्लियर कट हमारे ग्रंथों में सब है कि हाँ ये चीज इतनी एफिकेसी है यहाँ पे ये इसका ये इस तरीके से आपने इसको प्रयोग करना है इसका ये अनुपान है इसका ये सहपान है आपने दिन में लेना रात में लेना एक तरीके से मुझे लगता था कि हमारी साइंस इज ऑलमोस्ट कंप्लीट वी हैव नो क्वेश्चन लेकिन टू फुलफिल द डिमांड ऑफ सोसाइटी हम इन चीजों में आ रहे हैं लेकिन मैं बड़ी कंफ्यूज हो रही हूँ कि इतने ज्यादा हमारे योग है इतने द्रव्य उनमें पड़े हम सर उसको कैसे समझे फिर Please, sir, थोड़ा गाइड करिए। हाँ, डॉक्टर रजनी, एक्चुअली यू आर राइट और इवन आई हैव मेट मेनी पीपल फ्रॉम आयुर्वेदा। जी। वो इस द सेम ओपिनियन बोट यू हैव। एक्चुअली जस्ट आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर दिस थिंग। जी। टू मेक ए माइंड ऑफ योर रिसर्च like in the ayurveda ji okay. right aapka formulations they are uh, totally that is unquestionable okay yoga is unquestionable every formulation everything that is written in your veda and our uh, in uh, in uh, uh, your books uh, books that is uh, that is completely true okay i personally believe on this but okay. i would like to globally acceptance we need a global acceptance we have to do the clinical trial okay so uh, no, you can just see the baba ram the patanjali they have make a coronal okay sir that is patent i am asking about classic no 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 no, 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 no. patent is different thing they they did a clinical trial in the nims institute jaipur okay ji the phase 3 clinical trial randomized control trial that okay. The coronal. You just check check it out in the CTRI. Okay, so both are okay. Bad. Patent is different. Patent first. Whenever you make a good result in the new chemical entity, first of all you have to make patent. Okay. 
because of hundred billions of dollars, they have the pharmaceutical company has spent to discover this thing. Okay. Okay. So every time, everything, every time, whenever you have to go for the global acceptance, जी to do the clinical trial. Okay. So your formulation is good. So you do the clinical trial. So there is no problem. What you say, if I would, I just you recruit the patient and do the clinical trial. So there is no problem in the research. But what the today's session is mainly related to pharmaceutical chemistry. Okay. So pharmaceutical okay. chemistry shows if you have any activity, suppose any activity of Tulsi, if suppose okay. antibiotic activity is there, so what you know what is the what particular chemical chemistry? Yeah, you can what the new chemical entity which is present on the Tulsi, which is causing antipyretic activity. Do you know this thing? Okay. Like, so you have to think about this. There are a lot of researching that is available in the Ayurveda. Okay, so that is the same. What you are asking, that is the you just try start the clinical trial and show. Okay, it's okay. But the clinical trial can't be like that. Ki you do in the NIMS Institute and that that would be approved and accept globally. There is a guideline. There is multi-centric clinical trial. Means multi-centric. That is globally multi-centric. So one hundred suppose you know, ten sites in the India, ten sites in the USA, twenty sites in the Europe, two sites Australia, one site Japan. Then then you will make a hundred of site. That is then. If the results are promising, as per statistics, then the drug, then particular formulation or particular thing will be globally accepted. Okay, so now the question is right. Okay, but this mainly drug which is effective in India or not effective in like uh, you can see in the cold ja countries uh, there is uh, like uh, extreme of temperatures are there. So that is the separate thing. Okay. Yes, sir. You got my point. Doctor Prakash. Yeah. Doctor Prakash. Yes, sir. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, thank you so much for uh, giving us good information regarding pharmaceutical science. I'm Dr. Prakash Shikde from SD Mukhasan. Sir, in Ayurveda, uh, we have a controversial source for any particular uh, medicinal plant. For example, if we take the example of uh, Daruharidra, what we identify it as Berberis aristata or Asiatica, in down south, we use Cosinium fenestratum. Okay, so by chance, if there is any admixture or uh, uh, mixture of Cosinium fenestratum is there, so can we take the help of pharmaceutical science to differentiate it or if it is possible, how much it costs? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's possible. Actually, I, uh, the, again, my other, uh, another lecture, I, I think, uh, tomorrow there will be chromatography. There is chromatography okay. or the LCMS liquid chromatography and the, and like NMR, these are some things are there that there is you can isolate or identification of the particular molecule okay uh, yes sir that, that, that is uh, see. sir can i have a uh, say sir so there is actually some method you can uh, you have to take the help of the person who is okay. expert in the pharmaceutical chemistry okay okay if you have no if you know the people who is from m form the pharmacy institute who is M form in the pharmaceutics, pharma, pharmacognosy or the pharmaceutical chemistry. The base yes. deals with the these things like chromatography, okay, like LC okay. or NMR or these these uh, instrument. They basically uh, belong. Uh, they basically deals with the identification, isolation, and the quantification of these particular active molecule that is called new chemical entity okay that is that has the activity Ye, you must remember this thing there must be one or two molecule which has the main activity for that that particular uh, yes sir sir here yes, here sir, sir berberin content it is there in cosinium fenestratum also ah. and berberis aristata also has cosinium like uh, uh, berberin content 
So here, when we use as a substitute, I think it is very difficult for us to differentiate because both have similar chemical constituents. But actually, this is not actually you are actually clinical background. Right? You are Ayurveda doctors. I am yes. a pharmacologist. If yes. I, I am dealing with the patients, okay. So this is the work of the you can see basic pharmacologist that work in the right. laboratory. Right, sir. Whenever you do any research, hence I mainly stress on this. We are generally dealing with the drugs. Whenever we get a drug, then we do everything in our patient. But before the journey of the drug, you, you don't know the journey of the drug. You must, you must uh, explore what is the journey of that particular drug. So pharmaceutical chemistry or pharmacognosy or pharmaceutics, they mainly deals with the journey of the drug. Yes, sir. One question is, I think, in a, uh, Dr. Rasna Bharadwaj. Dr. Rasna Bharadwaj, I sent you the unmute request. Yeah, yeah. Hello, am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yes. uh, sir, I want to ask, just the way we have TLC or NMR, we have to do GC, we have to volatile compound, we have to do it, we have to isolate it, we have to do it. उसका पता भी लगा लेते हैं कि कौन-कौन सी है पर कई बार ऐसे होता है कि एक ही ड्रग रहता है अगर सपोज हम एक प्लांट है कुटकी पे फॉर एग्जांपल तो अगर उसका एग्जांपल लेते हैं तो उसमें एपीआई एक से ज्यादा भी निकल आते हैं तो एक से ज्यादा भी निकल आते हैं और जनरली उनका जो हम क्लिनिकली देते हैं तो उनका यह भी इफेक्ट देखा गया है कि वो सिनर्जिस्टिक इफेक्ट भी करते हैं एक दूसरे को सपोर्ट भी करते हैं एक्टिविटी को तो उस बारे में हम और कैसे एक्सप्लोर कर सकते हैं कि हमें एक्जेक्टली exactly दो मॉलिक्यूल्स निकले हैं और दो मॉलिक्यूल्स सिमिलर काम कर रहे हैं कि मुझे एनालजेसिक इफेक्ट चाहिए तो एनालजेसिक इफेक्ट या एंटीपायरेटिक इफेक्ट पे वो कुछ कुछ सिमिलर काम कर रहे हैं तो उनमें से किस तरह से फिर चूज किया जाए एनिमल के द्वारा ही या फिर क्लिनिकल के द्वारा नहीं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू हैव टू मॉलिक्यूल टू टू मींस टू न्यू केमिकल एंटाइटीज इन दैट पर्टिकुलर फूड एक्सट्रैक्ट ओके एंड बोथ हैज सेम एक्टिविटी और यू कैन सी इफ दे आर गिविंग सिंगली दे डोंट प्रोड्यूस द थेरापटिक इफेक्ट इफ दे गिव साइमल्टेनियसली देयर इज सिनर्जिस्टिक इफेक्ट ओके ओके सो यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट यू डू you can uh, if you want to do uh, if you want uh, what okay so if you want to which molecule has more prominent effect okay if you want to see then you will do you will do the throw high throughput screening okay you will do the high throughput screening particularly you can uh, do the some preclinical studies okay isolation quantification okay then 3D structure. Okay. On that particular 3D structure, you will run that 3D structure of compound with the computational skill into the high throughput screening. That means that is that attached to the particular receptor. Okay. When whenever you do the high throughput screening, you will get an idea ki what or the what place this molecule is attaching. Okay. At the molecule A. And then come to the molecule B. You will see the molecule B is attaching on this. Then you will get idea how much receptor occupancy is there. Okay. Suppose drug A molecule has the 30% occupancy or drug drug B which has the 20% occupancy. Okay. On the same site or different site because of you, you must remember, you must know that anti-epileptic drug, suppose anti-epileptic, there is not a single target there is different different target yes. okay so synergic synergistic effect can be produced by the additive mechanism or synergistic mechanism additive is just one plus one is equal to two synergistic is one plus one is equal to eleven so this by getting this idea you will get an idea then you can do the preclinical study in the animals 
than the critical trial. So this is the whole process of everything what you isolated from any crude extract. Yes, sir. That will be all uh, computer based, that AI based. Yeah, AI yes, model AI running is the AI based, not a separate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Okay, sir. thank you so much. And the last query uh, from today's session is from Dr. Rohit Singh. Dr. Rohit Singh, I sent you the unmute request. Please unmute yourself and ask your query. Dr. Rohit Singh. Yeah, uh, I'm audible, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, uh, very good evening, sir. And uh, thank you so much, sir, uh, for providing uh, us with uh, such an explorative uh, description of uh, about the drug discovery. Sir, actually, I have uh, some uh, group of questions. So if you can allow, I can uh, start with one by one. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank you, sir. Yeah. So the, uh, the first one is, ki, uh, are we considering the phytopharmaceutical, herbal and Ayurvedic drugs on the same uh, platform, on the same line, or are they different? Definitely differ, different because of Ayurveda science is not, is, is particularly for only for five because of there is 85% uh, your preventive approach is there and uh, they includes many preventive approaches as well as uh, yoga and many other things are there. Okay. So the, if active ingredients are there, so definitely Ayurveda products all from the five to pharmaceutical. As far as the Ayurvedic active ingredients are concerned, uh, that means that the uh, we can consider Ayurvedic drugs as the phytopharmaceuticals. Absolutely, every absolutely. Uh, but sir, uh, with, uh, maybe I'm short of knowledge. But sir, there is a clear cut uh, description about the phytopharmaceutical. Like we need at least four marker compound for the uh, phytopharmaceuticals, and. Uh, if you are making a medicine with a four or five phytopharmaceutical, it's it's not comes under the Ayurvedic drug rules. It will not oh. be considered as an Ayurvedic drug, uh, as per the DNC Act, sir. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Actually, sir, the, uh, why I'm raising this question because nowadays the phytopharmaceuticals and the, even the herbal uh, word is using as parallel to the Ayurveda. Uh, log misguide ho rahe ki actually yeah. part of pharmaceuticals Ayurvedic hi hai, but it's not. Ye completely different hai. So, uh, this is clear that you have ki aap thoda tha clear kar ki, uh, exactly phytopharmaceuticals yeah. Ayurvedic. Nahi hai. Rohit, actually, uh, 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 definitely your question is uh, again uh, uh, is good. Uh, I also uh, have uh, uh, no such knowledge about this because yes, of. Sir are some interrelated things okay and the person who is working in phytopharmaceuticals okay especially in the regulatory you know actually you are asking about the regulatory aspect huh? so in the regulatory aspect uh, actually clear cut definitions are there okay like that hmm. like new drug what is a new drug that is phytopharmaceuticals or herbal or vitamins okay like yes. nutraceuticals so Definitely these, these have interlinked, but, but not same. Okay. Hmm. I, yes, I personally agree with you that Ayurveda is not uh, whole pharma phytopharmaceuticals, but Ayurveda drugs are the plant origin. Okay. These are mainly right. natural source. Yes, that is not synthetic one. Actually, mainly I would like to uh, tell you about this, ki these are mainly natural origin, whereas in the allopathic science, majority of the drugs are the semi-synthetic or synthetic. Okay. Yes, mm. Naturally originated drug like digoxin. Okay. This mm. thing. Okay. These drugs right. has many side effects. Okay. So due to this thing, by <clears throat> pharmaceutical chemistry, they have modified the things and then they make a synthetic drug. Yes, sir. And, and sir, thank you, sir. And the second one, second question is, sir, ki, uh, like we are moving towards the extraction, like isolation of a particular API from the whole drug, a uh, whole plant, like in terms of malaria, we have extracted the quinine and the reserpin from the sarpaganda. Likewise, we are moving in that direction. And, uh, but sir, uh, the studies are there and the Ayurveda actually opposes this thing. कि आप किसी एक पर्टिकुलर कंपाउंड को आप वहां से आइसोलेट करिए 
and ah. used as a therapeutic agent. And the studies are there, sir, which have reported the side effects, major side effects, like the pin. Everybody knows the suicidal tendency about the pin when it's uh, extracted from the sarpaganda. And uh, similarly, from the when we extracted the some uh, compound from the muleti is called uh, gynecomastia. Likewise, there is a lot of uh, studies are there when the extract has been extracted from the whole drug, uh, it will have uh, causes some kind of complication or adverse effect. So, yeah. is it ethical uh, for the pathy that we are doing with the ethically towards moving towards the extract? या हमें as a whole drug के लिए कोई ऐसा model हमें generate करना पड़ेगा कि जो whole drug को थोड़ा सा हमें scientific validation दे पाए ना कि extract की base पे sir yeah so it's very easy you just do the clinical trials I have just uh, given you doc, to doctor uh, answer to Rajni you just yes, sir. clinical trial you, okay sir and the from yeah, do the from clinical the, trial okay right sir right sir right sir and uh, uh, second from the same, Yes, yeah, a second thing is that, like uh, I just giving, I am pharmacologist, I am just giving, there is complicated falciparum malaria in pregnant women, which is on first trimester. The drug of choice is intravenous quinine. Okay. The second thing is that quinine is the most toxic anti malaria drug. Okay. But given to the pregnant female, because of if it is not given to the pregnant female, the female will die. Okay. Right. Then you have to, as a pharmacologist, you have to take the risk benefit analysis. Right, right. As no, a sir. clinician, you have to measure the risk benefit analysis. And due to the same reason, same reason, the 99% drugs, allopathic drugs are synthetic. Because yes. if urine is toxic, then they made some change. Like I'm just giving example chloroquine. Chloroquine mm -hmm. causes optic neuropathy. Okay. If I just yes. put the hydroxy in there, there is less chances of optic toxicity and it is a drug of choice for rheumatoid arthritis. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, this is the reason or this is globally acceptable because of everything they have scientific validity is there. If yes. you don't want to uh, take extract, so then you directly start the preclinical or clinical trials. There is no problem. Yes, sir. Uh, so sir from the, the same... Yeah, yes, extraction sir. of the chemical, it is a it is a work of the scientist, not ours. You know? Yes, sir. And sir, uh, from the same uh, actually point from the uh, clinical trial, I just got yeah. a question. Like when we uh, talk about the RCTs, randomized control trials, sir. Uh, actually, uh, uh, is it randomization is applicable for the Ayurvedic studies? Because what I think, sir, ki, uh, jo Ayurvedic drugs hai, like we always say ki it's a personalized medicine hamare yeah. mein jo uh, ek prakriti ka sir pura concept hai ki yeah. uh, kiska kya temperament hai according to that you have to uh, prescribe the medicine same medicine will not uh, apply as effective as on the other person so jab hum randomization karte hain to hame like like for example one drug is uh, effective on the kapha prakriti people but randomization mein we are not taking that in account hum randomize kar rahe hain generally so is it randomization? I, uh, I, I understood, I understood yes. your query, but actually uh, there is no problem. You just do to take the same prakriti people. Okay. Yes, sir. Bath, bath prakriti uh, is there. So you just enroll the 30 bath prakriti, then you get the drug A. Okay. Yes, then sir. you take the second one who is hmm. that particular prakriti and then uh, second one. But that particular drug, that 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 would be the separate arm. Okay. Yes, sir. You, you got my point. Then yes, you, sir. I, I I got your point. We you, can do like we can do the grouping as per the pravat prakriti, kaf prakriti. Yes. We can uh, do the mix also. Mix. We can do you do, yes, you do a drug A for that particular prakriti, half randomization, and then D. Yes, sir. You can just easily by the statistician. You this is not in my purview. It is. Just take work of uh, task of estheticians, no problem. Right, sir. We, we, we can do the grouping, but do yeah. it hold the same weightage as the randomized control trials because it's not randomized. It is, and it becomes randomized no? whenever you recruit. First of all, you recruit the patient, then yes, you do the randomization. Yes, sir. You will do the randomization or particular because of that you are randomization or uh, then prakriti, then you do the drug A. Okay. 
and actually first of all what your what your objectives means what you want to make the efficacy of drug a into that particular people or you are comparing the that particular people of drug a to drug a to the, the other prakriti people so what are what are your objective or the basis of this statistician easily make a group and the validity always strong the family is strong the first is meta analysis second is randomized control trial so okay. randomized control trial is the strong evidenced instrument worldwide right sir okay uh, thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you very much thank you dr roy for one your questions i have i hope that all queries will be answered if there is any remaining query then you can mail us on ayurveda.is@gmail.com i left the mail in the chat box now uh, i would like to invite today chairperson dr simar devi ma'am to kindly share her views and uh, sum up today's session please ma'am thank you thank you so much amit and thank you so much dr neeraj for a very lucid lecture on a very very important topic you have covered it beautifully and you have uh, answered the queries uh, very satisfactorily so ye it's for me it's a dream come true because uh, in arogya bharti when i saw and met the arogya uh, matlab ayurvedic faculties i realized a lot of research input is needed in ayurveda तो इसी इसी स्वप्न को लेकर के ये महर्षि चरक पूरा डेवलप करा पूरी टीम ने जिसमें आप भी इंक्लूडेड हैं डॉक्टर शुभम एंड द होल टीम थैंक यू सो मच अमित डॉक्टर एंड अदर फैकल्टीज ऑफ द आयुर्वेदा तो उन सब का बहुत बहुत आभार और धन्यवाद कि इट हैज मेटीरियलाइज और धीरे धीरे ये भी अच्छा लगता है देख के ऑडियंस में कि दे आर टेकिंग सो मच ऑफ इंटरेस्ट तो उनके अंदर जो एक रिसर्च एप्टीट्यूड डेवलप हो रहा है मेरी इच्छा थी कि वो रिसर्च एप्टीट्यूड डेवलप हो तो आई वांटेड टू जस्ट मेंशन दैट सेवेंटी थाउजेंड स्पीशीज हैव बीन स्क्रीन फॉर देयर पोटेंशियल यूटिलिटी एज मेडिसिन सो अ ग्रेट स्कोप इज देयर इन आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन हर्बल मेडिसिन एंड द plants at present about 8 to 10 drugs to treat infection cardiovascular diseases or cancers or immunosuppressive drugs come from plants and their derivatives and of 155 anti tumor drugs which were approved between 1981 to 206 one uh, about they come from plants and natural products so you see the immense potential and possibility ki kitna uh, research is required in this area and only uh, uh, in fact of all the drugs if i am not wrong uh, dr neeraj i wanted your input when i was reading the drug uh, development and uh, pro the process whole process in one drug i think it takes almost 10 to 15 years aisa kahi mention tha ke itna lamba samay lagta hai Yeah, yes, ma'am. You are right. Actually, it takes around ten to twenty years and hundred hundred million dollars. One, and and, and ma'am, one important thing: if hmm. I if I screen one lakh molecule, hmm. one reach into the phase four. Ah, so that is what I was reading. That only about one in ten thousand screened are eventually proved to be yeah. safe and. by regulatory authorities so what yeah. we need so many queries were there what we need is actually one thing was what was beneficial was that if they are from plants in gross amounts in large amounts to wo itna jaise wo ayurved wale jo wo the apna query kar rahe the to itna side effect nahi hai lekin jab uska extract le lete hain then a lot of clinical trials is needed to prove their efficacy and that they are not toxic what ayurveda is basically concentrates on preventive aspect कि प्रिवेंशन पे जब वो कंसंट्रेट करता है तो इट बिलीव्स इन टेकिंग द नेचुरल प्रोडक्ट्स इन देयर नेचुरल फॉर्म एंड गिविंग द नेचुरल आउटपुट बट आई वांटेड मेरा जो एक इच्छा थी कि नाउ आयुर्वेद शुड आल्सो स्टेप इन इन थेरेप्यूटिक्स एज वेल तो जब थेरेप्यूटिक्स में जाएंगे प्रिवेंटिव में तो चलिए एक्सट्रैक्ट ले लिया अर्क ले लिया और वो सब खिलाया पिलाया मरीज को बहुत ज्यादा एक्सट्रैक्शन ड्रग का नहीं किया 
लेकिन वंस द आयुर्वेदा विल स्टार्ट गोइंग इन द थेरेप्यूटिक एस्पेक्ट सो वी नीड मच मोर कंसेंट्रेटेड एक्सट्रैक्ट एंड अ मच मोर रिसर्च ऑन द ड्रग डेवलपमेंट तो थोड़ा सा मेरी एक अपेक्षा है जो आयुर्वेद से कि वो थोड़ा थेरेप्यूटिक्स में जाए बिकॉज प्लांट्स का एज आई रेड अलॉन्ग की प्लांट्स का दे आर कंपेरेटिवली मच मोर सेफ देन द केमिकल्स विच आर बींग यूज so my request to the faculties that now they should go much more in the research and much more in the therapeutics as well and much more uh, study on the disease their development process and the germinology besides the health and prevention ye meri ek uh, definitely ichha hai kyunki um, ayurved jab us therapeutics mein jayega to mujhe lagta hai ki kafi sasti cheeze ab uplabdh ho payengi aam janmanas ko aur itna matlab jo bimari aage chal ke bahut bad sakti hai use kai had tak roka ja sakega to ye mera ek swapna hai ki research ke baad ayurved aur aage progress karke is tarah se aage karya kare thank you so much everyone all the audience and definitely dr neeraj and amit thank you so much bye for being a collaborative partner and siti rs also thank you so much thank you ma'am thank you thank you ma'am now thank you all of you yeah thank you sir thank you now from the joint state training center of rajasthan we can give our sincere thanks to all the participants for their active participation and commitment for today's session we heartily thanks the guest speaker of the session dr neeraj kumar agwas sir who kept participant engaged by the way of very informative lecture we also thanks for sharing today's session dr seema dwedi ma'am and sharing his experience and views about the session with the participants now this is the end of today's session we again thanks to all of you tomorrow the uh, next session will be again presented by dr neeraj agrawal sir and the fundamentals of chromatographic techniques thank you thank you very much the session is uh, going to end now